Do you want to start by telling them how old you are? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Gloria, and I'm Katie's grandmother. I'm 94 years old, and not happy to say that I'll be, I'm kind of in my 95th year now, but I, I just had a birthday in September, so legally 94 years old. Here are some of my tips to avoid wrinkles early in life. I try to buy really the best, which is saying quite a bit. I have tried the cheaper stuff. It doesn't work very well. And thinking about creams from my younger day, I, I remember I worked downtown and I'd walk through Eaton's Center every night. So there was a big jar of cold cream on, cleansing cream. I think it was just a little over a dollar. But I thought, oh, what a buy and from Eaton's, it'll be the best. But it didn't work out. It didn't do a thing for me. And then when I was finished with Eaton's, I went over to Elizabeth Arden and I did get a little bottle, a small bottle, but it did work. You could see on your face that it was a lot cleaner and it was really going into your pores. So don't buy the cheap stuff. If, if, if you can possibly just get into a higher bracket, it does pay off, it really does. I know it's hard to tell you young girls to get as much sleep as you can, but sleep is really the best thing I can advise is to get plenty of rest. It does ease out all these wrinkles and creases. I notice that young girls these days, they, they don't wear makeup, but sometimes they get quite pale looking. They, I think just, just a bit of blush, just a tint, just a bit on your face. It, it looks better, it does make you look healthy. If you've been working really hard and not getting enough sleep, a little bit of blush will make you look better a lot better, as I'm looking at Katie. <laughs> I always, I was lucky, I've always liked to exercise. And I, I started, I didn't start exercising until maybe the, in my 50s, but I, I kept on exercising until I was about 85, and it's really paid off. I'd advise strongly just to do exercises. I, I, didn't, I never jogged, I hated to jog, but even walking. Another good tip I can tell you is to eat well. Enjoy salads, try and get to like salads and veggies. Don't, don't eat the fast food if you can possibly help it. Eat well and it'll pay off in the long run. If you can smile more than frown and look grumpy looking, if you can look happy, if you can kind of put a smile on your face and don't let people bother you. Sometimes people, quite catty remarks, but if you can let it slide off, don't hold grudges. It, it, it just wears away at you, but if you can have a good disposition and shrug off all the mean stuff, 
and keep happy, keep smiling, you've won. Never wash your face with soap. It just dries it right up. I learned that in, at an early age, after starting to wash the face with soap, it just tightened up so much that I did buy some cream. And I can remember the first one, Elizabeth Arden, but it was too expensive. So I had to go back down to, I got some Eaton's cold cream and then I did end up with Pond's Cold Cream. I can't remember now if they're still on the market or not. I'm going to talk about moderation. It just, I noticed some ladies, they wear too much makeup. They really do. So try to avoid that. Sometimes false eyelashes really look false. Also, all my life, I've always avoided having the sun on my face. Even when you're sitting on the dock up at the cottage, wear a hat all the time and make sure it does come over the eyes. It, sometimes you get a good looking hat, but it doesn't shade the face at all. But make sure your face is shaded summer or winter. Don't get the sun on your face. Maybe a teensy bit just to look good. I tried smoking at an early age, but it, it just gave me a headache. I, I had the, such a severe headache that I thought this isn't worth it. So I've had one cigarette in my life and a really bad headache. And that was the end of the cigarettes and the headache. And then drinking, I tried drinking once when we're going out on a date. And it tasted so good, I can remember I, I had a second one. But then I could hear myself slurring, my voice was slurring. I thought, no, I don't want that. I want to be in control. So that was, I can't say it was the end of drinking because sometimes when you're out, you're kind of forced into drinking. So I have, I've tried it, I've tried wine, but I really don't like it. So I think that saved a lot of creases and wrinkles. I've learned through life, try not to worry about things. The big things you do worry about, but it all passes. And if you try not to get too upset, you'll be a lot better. And little things every day of your life come up, real worrying things. And just, as I say, just don't sweat them. Just take it as it comes. It's very hard, but it does help your system, and your looks. Let's see, my beauty rules are that always take the makeup off before you go to sleep, even if you come in at two in the morning and you can't lift your hand up, get that makeup off. And then uh, put a night cream on. Put the night cream on. And then in the morning when I wake up, I don't do much. I splash some cold water on my face, but then I put moisture on. I put moisture on first thing when I get up. Pay special attention to your eyes too, because they really start to wrinkle and bag. So. My favorite beauty yeah. product, I use Max. Uh, I, I use the, the foundation and the powder that I put on with the brush, the powder. 
and I use their eyeshadow and I go to Mary Kay for the creams. I use their, their moisturizer and their night creams and the creams under the eyes and, it, and for the deep wrinkles, Mary Kay, and I think it's paid off. I don't know when I started Mary Kay. It was in the 80s that I, I went to a meeting and it was, uh, everyone that came to the meeting got a free facial. And back in those days, money was scarce, so off I went to this free facial. And I, could, I really noticed a difference. Yeah, my hand care. I'd say maybe five or six years ago, I had horrible hands. They were old age spots, blotches. They were really embarrassing and the veins stood out like ropes. They were really awful. And my granddaughter, she made me up a batch of shea butter and, and she put some stuff in it. And I told her if this ever helps my hands, it'll be a miracle. And it was a miracle. The veins have gone down, they're white, and it's not embarrassing if somebody comes along and holds your hand. You've got nice, white, soft hands. I'd say Katie's Shea Butter for the hands is, is, is a miracle. Well, Thank you for watching. If there's any comments, please send them in. We'll be happy to hear from you. See you next time. Bye. <sighs> this is a video that's been aggy. Stop! Will you stop? No, apparently she won't. <laughs> hey, Trouble. That's the face of Trouble. Yeah. What you doing? Will you stop? And I'm Katie. You don't have to say your last name. You can just say first oh, name. Okay. This is the internet. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> I'm Gloria. And I'm Katie's grandmother. And I. That's it. Aggie. Get down. <laughs> Aggie. You're taking the spotlight away. <laughs> All right. You're going in the basement. Come on. Yay, you're being irritated. Oh, now I can't get at you. Come here. Come here. Down. Down. You stay over there, you can stay. You're gonna be a miracle if this works out. I <laughs> you can you can you can join all this together? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what editing's for. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh